Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm at USA right now and I am in the second round of the drift competition. And here guys, 240, we're just at the driver's meeting. We're about to go ahead and drive. Everyone's already in the line. So I'm gonna go ahead, fill my water tank up with water and head to the line and start ready to do some practice. I'm going again, say LS uh, 240. Here's a, he's a really good driver. So I gotta make sure I do good on practice, make sure I get some time with him. Which should be all good. Alright guys, so I forgot the mount that goes on the GoPro to attach it to the to this mount right here. So unfortunately I cannot get no in-car view. But I just did my first lap and it felt pretty good. So I'm about to do my second right now. The last outer zone is a little tricky, it's really tight, so that's the only thing I have to fix. But other than that, my initiation was perfect, and uh we'll see how it goes. Guys, uh, the car got run knock on the last lap of practice. So my brother just went to get some Lucas. We're about to put three quarts of Lucas and some 2050 in it. And I hope that's enough. I'm not sure if it's going to be, but um, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's a head or is it. It's it's on the left side, so I'm not sure if it's a head or not. If it's a head, it's making noise. Uh, I'm just gonna send it. Hopefully, it doesn't blow up on the track. But um, yeah, I was going to drive my friends at the uh, 350Z. But which I mean I will drive it if this thing blows up. But I like his car. I've never driven his car before. I only did one lap, and to be honest, it wasn't the best. So I'm not 100% confident. So I guess we'll see if the car, if my car lasts um, at least uh, throughout the comp, which I doubt it. But you never know. If it's a head, it'll definitely last. If it's a rod, it might put a hole in the block. But uh, there's no way of telling. So I'm just gonna go out there, send it, and hope for the best. Hi guys. Here it is. It sounds like it's on the head. I don't even know if this car has hydraulic, hydraulic lifters, but uh, it sounds like it's something in the head, like in the back cylinder. It doesn't sound like a bottle iron. I mean, it does sound like a but I don't know. We're gonna send it. If it blows up, it blows up, whatever. We're gonna give it our best shot. All right, guys, so we're about to go up soon to uh, to battle, and I'm sending it. it. has good oil pressure. I hope the rod holds on. I hope the bearing doesn't get all fucked and uh, fall apart, but I mean, we have, we have 80 pounds of oil pressure, so good it's loud as shit though
a great run for both of them. One more time? I mean, that was pretty good. No, the power difference. Yeah, yeah, the power difference is insane. So, I mean, that was a pretty good run for my boy there. So I just finished my battle. So I lost my first battle against Tim. He's a really good driver. Uh, we both did a good lead and chase. Uh, I mean, you guys will see because I already posted it. But uh, I'm just happy my car didn't blow a rod, to be honest, because now 
I can go ahead and reuse these heads on another motor because these heads are freshly done and have ARP studs. So I can just buy another motor, put these heads on it, put the studs in it, and we should be all good. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this car in the trailer and call it a day. Hi right, guys, so we're all loaded up, ready to head out. Um, when I was tandeming, when I did my tandem run with Tim, he tapped me on my quarter panel. Not bad, but he got me a little bit right here, as you can see. I just got pulled out from the inside because it bent in the actual metal. But uh, yeah, we all loaded up. We're about to head out. Super fun day today.